Welcome back to another of my online YouTube video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to convert a drawing to PDF. In previous video, I looked at how to set up the page, how to do scale, etc. For this video, I will be focusing specifically on how to convert your drawing to a PDF. Here we have a number of drawings on this file. My objective is to is to um, print a, a particular part of this drawing, uh, this one in particular. So for that, my first step is to go left click on layout. Uh, my next step is to change to set up my page layout. First, so um, I would then. Right click, go up to page setup manager, left click here. From that, I'm going to choose the paper size that I want. I click, I think I could click new to create a new paper, or I could just modify the existing paper. Currently, this paper size is 210 by 297 millimeters. I want this to be an A3 size paper. So for that, I will be clicking modify, left click on modify. I will, my first task is to change, is to select my printer size. For this, I want Microsoft the PDF. What Microsoft the PDF does, it allows you, it, it reduces the number of paper size to basically what we typically use in the school system or on, on a wide format printer or a domestic printer, domestic or office printer. So I click Microsoft the PDF. My next step is to click here, to select my paper size. I want an A3 paper. And uh, A3 size paper is the standard size paper used for CSEC. A3 and tabloid are basically the same size, except that A3 papers are in millimeters. The dimension for A3 paper is 297 millimeters by 420, while a tabloid, the unit is in inches. It is 17 inches by 11. And if you multiply 17 by 11, 17 inches by 25, you'll get 420. If you multiply 11 by 25, you'll get 297. So I choose A3. It is important to ensure that this your unit here is in millimeters. And this is set to one to one, very important. You may also want to click center, all right, center. So for that, um, fit to paper. If you wish to scale your drawing, you cannot select this. Do not select this, all right? Now, going up to the top right here, uh, if we wish to, printer join in different shades of gray or black and white, you will select monochrome. If you wish to print a drawing wherein you can see all the different colors used, which I recommend for my students, because I want to be able to determine if they're using the different type of layers. I click okay for this, all right, and close. So now I have the new size paper. This is the original A4. This is the A3. So first, I'm going to click this to remove that. Now I'm left with uh, my blank sheet of paper. I could import, I could import uh, a title block in this drawing, or I could quickly create one. So for that, I'm going to create one. I'm going to type rectangle, R-E-C, 
enter, click here, and uh, somewhere here. Here. I'm not going to waste much time on this part of it. You would then probably use text or I won't be spending any, any time on this part as in the previous video, I would have done all of that. My next step is to import the drawing from model space into my layout space. Do that, I could click on layout from up here or I could type MV, enter. MV, enter. It will then ask me to select the area which I want that the drawing to be in. For this, I could click inside here or I could click outside. The thing about clicking outside, that, that um, viewport line will not be visible. So I click outside of the drawing paper. I then click two times to bring, to bring my cross here into the model space. How do you know that you're in model space? You will know when this north, south, east, and west box pops up. So from that, it will allow me to zoom and pan. So I can middle mouse grip and move. And I could bring this around to where I want it to be. Align that. I can, I could, if I click outside two times, I'm now in paper space. Click back inside one, two. Again, I'm back in model space. To scale this, I would need to be in model space. So that can be done one of three ways. I could click here, choose a scale, probably one to two, or that seems too tiny. I'm gonna choose one to one, choose one to one, and that seems good, all right? If that is okay, I would then lock this scale. I will then lock the scale by clicking on this padlock here to lock that scale. So my scale is now locked at, at um, one to one. To print, I can type control P or uh, hold on control shift, hold on control, control P. It will then, this will then pop up. I will click continue to print single sheet. It will then take you back to this, this um, page setup. To preview what you have, you can click on preview to check to ensure everything is okay. So this is what will show up on the drawing when I'm printing. So if you're okay with that, you can go ahead and click okay. So I'm gonna close this, close here. I'm gonna click okay convert it now. No, it will then ask you to name this drawing and choose a location where you want this drawing to be saved. You could choose to save this drawing as a PDF on your USB drive, on the PC, and um, in documents or on desktop. All right, so I choose, I'm gonna save it on my thumb drive. And I'm gonna name this hexagonal cone our truncated cone, truncated cone. And you will realize that down here, save, save as type PDF, all right? If you wish to change, to save it into any of these folders, for example, in cases where you might have a folder that you're saving a drawing to, you could go to that folder and, and um, save your drawing in that folder, all right? So I'm gonna save this into a folder that I have here first, but into this folder, which is empty. I click save and it is now being converted to PDF. All right, so just like that, plot and print job complete. So it is now converted to PDF. So I could go back into my folder to retrieve that join. So that's basically how you convert a join to PDF, all right?